For practice at self-check 2.29 multiplication, we are asked, what is the output of the following sequence of loops? So we have a for loop in, in case in a, another for loop. First, we're going to look at our outside for loop. We have i is equal to 1, and then we have i is less than or equal to 5, i++. plus plus. So this for loop is going to execute about four times. Inside we have i or we have int j is equal to 1 and this is going to run as long as j is less than or equal to 10. And every time this executes j is being incremented by 1. Inside of our loops we have or inside of our um, in case loop we have system.out.print i times j and then a space. After this loop breaks, we have a print line right here as well. First, inside of our loop, we have i times j. Well, when we first run this, i is going to equal 1. And we are printing out i times j and then a space. So basically, what we're saying is 1 times our current j, which is 1, and then a space. So we're going to have one and then space like this first. We're going to run through this inner for loop again and we're going to say now that j is equal to 2. We have i which is still 1 times j which is now 2 so that's 2. Then we have a space and now we're going to run through our for loop again and we're going to say i which is still 1 times now j is equal to 2 or j is equal to 3 like this and then we have a space like this and then this is going to execute it's going to keep executing 5 6 7 8 and then we will eventually hit where j is equal to 10 so we're just going to print out 10 like this and then we have a system dot out dot print line once this loop breaks so we're going to just have a space now we have i is equal to 2 in our outside for loop so we are going to run through our inner for loop right here again but now i is equal to 2 so we're going to have 2 space 4 space 6 space 8 space 10 12 and we are just going to run through this like this this is now our code because what we're saying is basically i times j and we've incremented the outside loop i and we're running through this again so i is being multiplied by our j, and our j is between 1 and 10, which equals 20 now as our max value here. We break out of this loop again, and we get another space. We're in our outer for loop again, and this loop is going to keep running until i is equal to 2. Currently, or until, cur until i is equal to 5. Currently, i is equal to 3, so this is going to keep running. We have 3... 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and then 30. What we can notice is a pattern and start multiplying our i instead of having to look at our code every single time. We can um, multiply i by our first line of output right here but what's happening like let's say if we take 18 right here it's at the um, well 1 2 3 4 5 6 is at the 6 space so since it's at the 6 space we're basically saying j is equal to 6 and our i constant through our encased for loop is going to be 3 so 3 times 6 is equal to 18 and that's how we really get that value in this next line, we, we have 4 
then we have 8, then we have 12, and we are just going through these 16, 20, 24, 28, we have 32, 36, and then 40. After this we have one more row because i is going to keep going until it is less than or equal to 5. Now i is equal to 5. So this is the last time our outer for loop is going to run. We're going to have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and then lastly we have 50. We break out of this loop and then we just have a line right here um, at the bottom over here, but I don't think that's going to be included in the output in this um, code, or not code, but this output we've written right here is what would be outputted if we were to run this code right here. So that is the final solution for practice it 2.29